Oh, hey there. If you're a workaholic, you can keep watching. Everybody else, scroll on. This is not for you. If you're lazy and you sit on your couch all the time and you've enabled and all that stuff, keep going. There's other stuff for you to look at. All right, if you're a workaholic, and I can say this because I too am a workaholic, let me just give you a couple pointers, okay? If you're gonna do this with your life, there's probably a variety of reasons why you've chosen to do this. Uh, number A, perhaps you grew up poor. That is my case. Or you've gone through some hard time, through some depression or the Holocaust or something like that. And there is a genuine concern inside of you that's like, I need to make sure that I have enough. Uh, I need to have security and therefore I have to work as hard as I possibly can so that I can save up enough so that I can be okay and my family can be okay and the people I love can be okay and all that. And you feel a tremendous responsibility. But you let this get the better of you, okay? And you can't stop yourself. And so every opportunity that you have to make more money, then you continue to do that. And then there comes a point where you don't really need to work anymore, but you just don't know what else to do with yourself. You just don't know how to live life anymore because all you've done is just survive. And now you don't have to. And so let me make a few suggestions to you, okay? Take a breath every once in a while. It's okay. Find something that you enjoy doing that doesn't involve making money. Find people that you enjoy spending time with and just turn off the phone and just look at them and engage with the person in front of you. Because when you do this, then they're gonna feel like they actually value me. And I know you're thinking, I pay for everything. I show them I love them by paying for stuff. And that's true and I get it because I've been there for a very long time. However, they already know you're gonna pay for things. What they want is your time. They want your love, they want your affection, they want you to be interested in what they're interested in. They want you to spend time with them, okay? And you need to do that. You need to, to shut off the just work, 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 work attitude from time to time. I'm not saying all the time. I'm not saying quit working. What I'm saying is put it neutral every once in a while. Look around you. Here's the thing. You may find bigger opportunities than what you had before, okay? There came a point where I was making a substantial amount of money, okay? Doing video production work and traveling all over the world. I was top of my game and I really made significant money. And there came a point I was like, I don't wanna do this anymore. I'm tired of getting yelled at, I, I feel unfulfilled, I've made enough money, I'm okay, I don't have to do this anymore. And I just mumbled on calm, like, I quit, I'm done. And they were like, okay, yeah, yeah, whatever, we'll see you next week. And I'm like, no, I'm done. And it's been almost five years now, and I'm so happy. And the truth is, I make more now <laughs> than I did back then when I was making a lot. Sometimes, you know, we're stepping over a dollar to pick up a dime. Sometimes we're so hyper-focused on something that we don't see the opportunity in front of us. If you're a workaholic, you're probably good at working, okay? You're probably good at all kinds of things. And if you can take a breath and just look around you, there may be a better opportunity that you haven't noticed. And part of that opportunity is not just money. Part of that is loving your family. It's loving people. It's being involved with the church. It's being involved with charity. It's traveling. It's finding something else besides making money that you can do with your life. It's finding hobbies and interesting things and it's learning how to do something new. It's being okay with sucking at something. You're going to at first, it's okay. When I started playing guitar, I was horrible. When I started playing piano, I was horrible. When I started singing, I was horrible. When I started doing all the things that I'm good at now, I was horrible at it when I started. Be okay with that. I hope nobody had really watched this unless you're a workaholic. Love you guys.